The VIP signals are more profitable than ever and that can be seen in the results which we have posted here on the free group for the month of January. As you can see we started this year 9th of January and look at that my friends. The results here are really amazing. Take profit number 2 right now is 100 pips. Uh, take profit number 3 here is 220 pips. And even uh, the take profit number 1 sometimes could be 60 or 70 pips. And as we can see the, the losses right now has been reduced. As we can see also um, we are having here uh, 28 pips of loss, uh, 10 pips of loss, 30 pips of loss. The stop loss right now is ranging between 10 and 30 pips and rarely 45 pips. That's the improvement of the VIP signals and thankfully that made the signals more profitable than ever. We have received a lot of comments saying that now they are finally making profits with the signals. I want to highlight that Forex of course cannot be prof uh, profitable every single day. Some days we are actually facing losses, sometimes the market will not move as we have predicted. So again, we are having good days and we are having bad days and again this is normal. Thankfully we are having much more good days than the bad ones and the good thing here is for example example these entire losses could have almost been recovered with only two signals usd cat and kgpy just take profit number one only you don't even need to wait for take profit number two or three uh the take profit uh, the take profit number one for these two signals have made approximately 100 pips making uh, recovering from most of the losses here is really possibility so therefore uh, we have ended this uh, month so far with more than 1,122 pips of profit. I'm so happy for the results and I'm so excited for the new style of extreme trader. For example, my friends, 26th of January was 100% in profit. All of the signals and notice something here. Take profit number one, number one, number one, 40 pips, 35 pips and 45 pips. So you could have actually made a lot of profits if you have only relied on take profit number one. That's a big step of for extreme trader signals. A big improvement and i'm so excited about it so of course my friends if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so on friday i have sent the friday analysis video uh, on youtube and i think it did really well the signals actually went uh, in the right direction as i have predicted but of course we had the pce price index news for the usd pairs which have of course affected the market however most of the signals went in the right direction as we can see uh the euro usd actually was going well in the profit for about uh 21 pips uh the pound usd also was ranging inside of the safe zone and however ended up uh in profit of 15 pips um aud usd has also reversed and run running in 12 pips of profit uh the usd cat hasn't been triggered usgpy oh yeah the usgpy signal did not work well uh uccchf signal has reversed also from the same original cell uh level uh currently running in 21 pips of profit and the gold of course as we can see the candle has actually exceeded the same zone but before that this candle right here uh, shows that the gold has indeed reversed inside of the safe zone and went in total of i think about 80 80 90 90 pips of profit and i want to show here a good example of a good behavior uh first of all of course i want to thank everyone in the comments who have taken their time to make these nice and beautiful comments and of course my friends i really appreciate your presence in the channel just watching this channel here and the videos really means a lot to me however mr daniel here says just exited my gold trade before news and i have made decent profits that's what i'm looking for that's the right behavior you cannot just rely on the signals blindly and just open the trade and just blame the sender if they didn't go well. This guy here is a good example of a traders. They should actually use the analysis here. And however, they are also a traders. They are not just copiers. You have to keep your eyes on the news to know when they will be out and just close your trades upon the news. And if the news hasn't changed the direction, you can open the trade again. So again, uh, um, good behavior. And again, thanks to everyone in the comments. Very beautiful comments. And that is, of course, a, good, a big encouragement for me to continue giving you the analysis and the signals. However, let's now begin the weekly analysis video and let's now begin with the Euro USD. So, of course, uh, regarding the Euro USD, we need to actually to delete the old signal so we can analyze it on a clear chart. Now, let me just tell you something. If we check the weekly chart right now for the Euro USD, this this week actually the candle has closed like this as a dodgy candle, and it doesn't actually show much of a pressure from the buyers. But still, I believe that the market is actually going to continue the rise. 
the market will most likely actually continue climbing its way after making the bullish breakout from that long term support at 1.08063. So far, this is actually not a strong bearish candle. Let's move to the daily chart. So right now we can see that the market has actually formed right here this price action, which I usually uh, trust a lot for the uh, bearish reversal, but we are also having the same candle right here. And this one actually shows much more pressure from the buyers. They have actually pushed the market to rise for about from the opening for about 100 pips or, uh, of course or uh, 93 pips however this bullish candle is actually uh, a good signal that the market is going to continue the rise so what i'm suggesting here is that the euro UST is actually make a, gonna make a fall right here however it's actually gonna uh, give up upon the pressure from the support trend line that we're having right here and afterwards the euro UST is going to continue climbing its way toward the resistance right here uh, actually no sorry right here exactly right here at 1.10262 which means at some place here we have to consider buying this pair the question is where exactly we can buy start buying the euro usd let's now move to the four hour time frame now in the four hour time frame what we can notice right here of course is the very strong key support level exactly right here at 1.08348 which actually has made the strong bullish breakout from that level of a resistance right here uh, exactly on the same level of course now in my opinion what we are having right here is a triangle like this let me just make sure it's clear for you just like this let me delete this line here or no need okay i will delete it so now this triangle here shows us that the market has actually been trapped inside of this triangle for a certain time then finally has made the bullish break out from it now we are having one and two and finally three attempts to break out or, or actually a retest of that level from that channel or the triangle so now as we can see the last four hour candle has actually closed as a pin bar as you can see right here, not the pin bar actually, but uh, it's actually showing a pressure from the buyers. However, I believe that the euro USD indeed gonna continue the rise. Now, after confirming all of that, the question is where exactly we can start buying this pair. Now, let's draw here a, uh, a support trend line, just like that. And let's select the lowest levels possible so we can actually buy at the absolute lowest level uh, from where the market might actually go to. So therefore, if we check this level right here, exactly right that let me just be accurate uh exactly just like that so this is of course the right way to draw the horizontal line the candle is actually touching both of the both of the tails and we're having here the pressure from the resistance so therefore there is a possibility that on monday the market actually might make a bearish movement and it's going to reverse upon the pressure from that support trend line which means the euro usd has a potential to fall for about uh i would say about 31 pips before we can start buying this pair now moving to the, to the daily chart just to find the take profit level and of course the take profit level as we have stated earlier is going to be right here exactly at the nearest resistance to our current entry of a support which means the euro usd has a potential to make approximately 200 pips of profit and of course you know you know, you know me guys i don't like to give unrealistic take profit levels i use i usually like to stick to like um 100 pips of profit therefore uh yes that on based on the four hour time frame this of course was the nearest support level to the entry and that could actually be our take profit level therefore the take profit level is going to be approximately 127 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone should be ranging just till the absolutely lowest level of a support at 1.0721 which means uh the safe zone is ranging for about 64 pips against 127 pips of profits let's now move to the pound usd all right so as you can see the pound usd was indeed ranging inside um, the safe zone but however going right now in the right direction now what can we expect next with the uh, with the pound usd let's just move to the to the weekly chart always the first thing to do is moving to the bigger time frames to identify the direction and then switch back to the smaller time frame to identify where exactly you can start buy or sell that's how i'm trading for the last five years that's my style in trading and i'm just so satisfied with it it's just give me a guaranteed results now based on the weekly chart the euro sorry the pound usd has indeed managed to finally retest the same level of a support right here at 1.2677 so meaning that level of a support has finally been respected which means that the pound usd actually 
going to continue the rise considering that we're having right here a resistance trend line and as we can see my friends this was the resistance trend line level right here which has been respected right here and finally last week or actually two weeks ago the pound usd has made here the bullish break out from it and last week the pound usd actually was retesting the same level of the support which means the pound usd has nowhere to go but up so moving now to the daily chart now on the daily chart the first thing that we can see right here of course is the support trend line as we can see right here my friends this support trend line is actually facing here let me just tell you so we had here a, a perfect reversals upon the pressure from the support trend line then we had here for the last five for actually another four days a fake breakout however for the last two weeks the pound usd has actually been respecting that level of a support trend line now pay attention what i will go what i'm going to do just simply drag the same support trend line exactly like that and just place it right here on this neck or the next or the second support trend line and as we can see right now the market has indeed managed to make here the bearish breakout creating a resistance trend line resistance trend line then finally the bullish breakout from it and right here we're having this the first attempt of that support trend line now what we can do next is upon the pressure from the current resistance right here at 1.23983 the pound usd actually may gonna make a fall right here and that support trend line right here is gonna be most likely respected uh, since we have actually analyzed on the weekly chart that the pound usd is going to continue the rise meaning if we go to the to a smaller time frame as uh, such as daily we can see right here that support trend line is most likely gonna be respected and the pound usd will continue climbing its way which means if I check how many pips is that, it's going to be about approximately uh, 48 pips. Therefore, one second, guys. Okay. Uh, let's just move to the four hour time frame. And right now, all we need to do is identifying the strongest support and resistance levels. Check this out right here exactly at 1.23579 this was my friends a very strong key support level as we can see the market has actually made uh, two attempts to break out from that level and failed and as you can see we have ended up with two attempts of a support therefore i think we can safely start buying the pound usd after it falls to the same level of a support uh, after it falls for about 40 pips at 1.23579 and that support trend line is also going to be respected as well now if we look at the left side we're having also here this strong key support level which of course cannot be ignored therefore we will be buying the pound usd exactly from that level and the take profit level is going to be placed just right here exactly at the nearest strong key resistance level to our entry which means we're aiming approximately 203 pips profit from this signal uh now for the pound usd of course this is a possible not like as of unlike the euro usd of course we cannot give uh, 200 pips of take profit level it's just so unrealistic but with the pound usd uh one candle actually just like here one candle of the four hour time frame can rise for about 220 pips i mean the pound usd is really acting like gold nowadays since um um since like i think like for like two months i think or three months maybe i'm not sure however um the the safe zone is ranging for about 66 pips against 202 pips of profit let's now move to the aud usd all right so again i'm so glad that the aud usd is actually running in profit but however let's see now what we can do next with this pair so deleting the entire all signal and let's now move to the weekly chart now, based on the weekly chart, as we can see, the last week candle has ended up as a very strong bullish candle and it has closed exactly on the same level of the resistance right here as 0.7198. Now, it's important to remember that the current resistance right here is actually a fake breakout. And that can be seen, of course, by seeing here two weeks, two weeks, uh, two twin candles, actually. If you have seen two candles like a twin candles and in the middle we had here like uh, wicks in the middle of them that means usually that this was of course a fake breakout and we are having many examples like this uh, for example this one right here we're having um these two tails and then of course we're having here another break a uh, fake breakout we're having here two tails as well so that can be seen actually almost every everywhere in the chart now the first thing that we can see out here also is the broken level of a real resistance exactly right here 
0.70614 and since the market has actually been able to break out from that level it means that most likely the AUD USD will also continue the rise so let's now go to the daily chart now based on the daily chart what we can do next is simply draw here a support trend line from this lower low all the way to that higher low <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> Now, what we can do next is simply drag the very same support trend line and just place it right there exactly at the next support trend line or the next uh, strong key support trend line. Check this out. Now we are having that support trend, uh, trend line which has been respected repeatedly. Then the market has barely been able to create at all any attempt of a resistance trend line. Then finally made the, broke out, the uh, bullish breakout from that level of a support trend line. Now, most likely that level of a support trend line is going to be respected again and the market actually going to retest that level which means the AUD USD still has a potential to fall for about 41 pips before we can start buying it now if we look at the left side of course check this out now on the left side the same level 0.70614 has also been respected as a strong key support level and that my friends cannot be ignored and pay attention in the middle we have several fake breakouts as well major fake breakout right here and another uh, actual bearish breakout and that same level became a key resistance and keep in mind all of that based on the daily chart now based on that we can actually expect from the usd from the AUD usd to fall all the way to the same entry uh, after it fall for about 46 pips at 0.70614 and that's gonna be my friends a best level to start buying this pair however based again on the daily chart now we can see that the take profit level gonna be placed just right here at the nearest strong key support level to our entry right here exactly which was of course previ uh, previously a resistance which means we are actually expecting to make approximately 113 pips profit from the signal let me just move to the four hour time frame and the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging lower than this level of a support as 0 0.70098 and of course uh, we can actually consider the signal as lost if it was able to reach the edge of the safe zone for one single reason is we're actually relying on that support trend line and if the market is going to be able to reach that level right here of the support then it means that most likely this uh, support trend line has been broken out from and the market has nowhere to go but down therefore the edge of the safe zone going to be ranging for about 50 pips against 114 pips of profit moving now to the usd cad all right so the usd cad is indeed going in the right direction as we have predicted however the sell level hasn't been triggered so now what we can do next with this pair now of course based to the same analysis we have done on last friday we actually have analyzed this pair that it actually made the bearish break out from that level of a support trend line just like that so we are having here that support trend line which recently has been broken out from and last week the candle has actually made the retest of the same level which means that the USD CAD in my opinion still going to continue the fall and most likely the target is gonna be right here the lowest level of a strong key support level at 1.32327 which means the USD CAD still has about 73 pips more to go so let's now move to the daily to the four hour time frame now based on the four hour time frame what we can see right here of course is the current support level right here and the usd cad seems like it's actually ranging on that level of a support which means if we look at the current uh, price action we're having here that level of a resistance exactly right here perfect at 1.3426 since this was actually my friends a resistance number one we can actually safely start selling the uh, usd cad exactly right on the second attempt of the resistance level and of course uh, i think it's going to be a safe trade because the market has made a strong bearish breakout from that level of a support trend line actually you can even draw the support trend line from this lower low i mean no matter how you draw it it's actually correct all the ways they are all leading to one point which is the breakout from the support trend line therefore we can safely wait for the uh, usd cad to rise for about 32 pips and then we can start selling it however 
the tech profit level is gonna be at the nearest strong key support level as we have stated earlier therefore we are actually aiming 108 pips profit from this signal meanwhile the safe zone should not actually be ranging higher than this, this, this level of a key resistance at 1.3405 uh, which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 57 pips against 110 pips of profits moving now to the USDJPY all right so actually i'm really thinking to switch um, or actually replace the USDJPY with the NZDUSD however um i want to know guys what do you think of this uh do you think guys it's a good idea because i cannot actually add the NZDUSD the video is already more than 30 minutes long and adding any other pair is gonna make it even longer i have seen a lot of comments actually requesting to add the pound gpy or the euro gpy but again guys adding any more pair is gonna make the video like even one hour long which is too much it's like watching a movie however uh i will consider actually changing uh, or switching or actually replacing the usd gpy with the nzd usd in the near uh, in the near future however let's see now what we can do next with the usd gpy so based on the weekly chart as i told you this is strong candle right here that is that's actually my uh strong signal for the bullish reversal once i see this candle appeared on the weekly chart or actually on a support level i mean uh especially on the weekly chart it usually indicates that the market is gonna indeed continuing the rise but the issue is we're having here a very strong key resistance level as well at 130.762 now keep in mind we are actually analyzing on the weekly chart which means there is a chance that the next candle is going to be bearish and then we can for the week after we can start buying the market uh, of course based on the uh, new price action which will appear on the next week however if i'm not mistaken based on the weekly chart that level of resistance cannot be ignored especially knowing that oh especially knowing that we're having here that support trend line and as we can see uh that support trend line has actually been breaking out from with that strong bearish breakout candle and for the last two weeks the uh, the uh, the uh, the uscpy has actually been retesting the same level of the resistance all of that together tells me that most likely the next candle is going to be bearish however for the week after we can consider buying the uscpy so based on that let's now move to the daily chart actually let's move even to the four hour time frame because i want to show you something so now on the four hour time frame what we're having right here is that triangle as you can see right here my friends and the market seems like it's going to be trapped inside of it however the if we look at the trend line that or the trend in general the trend is so strong uh, bearish it's very strong bearish candle it's a downtrend and most likely the market eventually gonna end up respecting that level of a trend lines now most likely we're going to start shorting the USDJPY at some point right here on the resistance. However, the take profit level gonna be placed just right here at the support level exactly right there, just right here at 128.021. And afterwards, we can see what we can do next with this pair. But if I'm not mistaken, the USDJPY is going to continue the fall. Now, after confirming the direction on the four hour time frame, what we can do next right here is simply check the uh, triangle and just like that we're having here a perfection uh if i'm not mistaken right here my friends exactly we're having the peak of the resistance exactly right there just right there at 130.279 most likely the pound sorry the uh USDJPY is gonna be ranging inside of this triangle for the uh few days of the first week or the uh the week and after that the USDJPY is gonna continue the fall that being said we have to wait for the USDJPY to rise for about 46 pips to reach the same level of the highest, highest resistance at 130.279 and from that point we can safely start shorting the USDJPY and the safe zone should not actually be ranging higher than the level of the resistance right here at 131.022 the reason is if the market is the market is going to be able to reach that level of a resistance it means that this triangle has indeed been uh, broken out from in a bullish mo uh, movement and most likely the market is now is going to continue the rise therefore that's going to be the edge of our safe zone however it's going to be ranging for about 74 uh, 74 pips against 224 pips of profit let's now move to the uccchf 
all right so the ucchf is indeed going in the right direction and guess what i'm not going to give you a new a new signal for the ucchf is gonna just it's just gonna remain the same uh the reason of course the market is still ranging inside of the safe zone. i mean it's still ranging in the, in the area where we have said that the ucchf is gonna make a bearish reversal and we can safely sell again right here at 0 0.92046 however uh, the original entry was actually at 0 0.92323 and the UCCHF is indeed ranging inside of the same level. And the reason of course is we are having here that support trend line which has been broken out from and as we can see the market is rising indeed but it's also creating a resistance trend line which means that level of a support trend line has indeed become a new resistance trend line and add to that of course the uh, trend direction that we're having right here so it seems to me like the UCCHF is most likely going to continue the fall so what I'm going to suggest here is just um, make the original sell exactly at the new level of the sell again just like that and the edge of the safe zone can actually be ranging inside of the same level uh, one second guys I think I made a mistake here oh shit yeah um, I have made a mistake two three two three that's gonna be the same level where we can start sh uh, shorting the UCCHF after it rise for about 23 pips and let's just get rid of this sell again uh, price just like that yes just that's enough and therefore the UCCHF signal just remains the same for the next week let's now move to the gold okay so of course the gold signal uh, right now it's gonna be changed after what happened let me just delete the old signal and let's now discuss what we can do next with the gold now let's move to the weekly chart i want to show you something my friends right now we can see right here on the weekly chart that the gold has actually been able to reach the highest level so far 1948.27 which was also previously a strong key resistance level as we can see that means that the gold actually most likely gonna start a bearish reversal for the remaining days of the next week however uh, the target eventually gonna be right here the lowest level of a support at 1896.49 that's gonna be in my opinion the next level where we can start buying the gold but however uh, for the next week I believe we are going to start shorting it uh, the gold most likely is gonna fall for about 320 pips more uh, pips more before we can start buying it now moving to the daily chart now on the daily chart as we can see my friends that was the reason i was actually convinced to sell the gold of course it was these two candles and my mark my words these two candles my, my friends usually actually a strong price action indicates for a bearish reversal and once you see them especially on the daily chart or, or weekly chart you can actually start selling the market if you have seen them of course on a strong uh, key resistance level uh, they are actually trusted uh, trusted price actions now let's move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame what we can see right here of course the first thing is the real level of a resistance right here exactly right here at 1937.54 so that was of course a real level of a resistance as we can see for uh, three attempts at least then we had here one fake breakout from that level of a resistance and the market has indeed went in the uh, down direction however now the market is actually facing a very strong key support level right here at 1922.95 it actually pushes the market the market to continue the rise but what we are actually not seeing right here clearly is the support trend line and let me just show it to you that support trend line just like that now as you can see my friends that support trend line has indeed been breaking out from with that bearish breakout candle and right here we can see the first attempt of the resistance trend line has appeared now confirming that on the weekly and daily chart we're having a bearish uh, reversal signals now looking at the four hour time frame we need to identify the entry where we can start selling the gold and most likely we can sell it exactly right here first of all it's gonna be actually the second attempt of the resistance trend line number two and second of all is going to be the first attempt of the horizontal level of a resistance based on the current resistance level right there right before the bearish uh, or before the uh, fake breakouts which means we have to wait for the gold to rise for about i would say about uh 93 pips before we can start shorting it however 
the take profit level is going to be placed just right here at the lowest strong key support level at 1910.94 which means we are actually aiming approximately 260 pips profit from the signal meanwhile the safe zone is, is going to be ranging just a little bit above the resistance at 1950.64 which means it's going to be ranging for about 130 pips of uh, safe zone of course against 268 pips of profit and there goes your signal my friends for the gold and the usd pairs for the next week of course i want to remind everyone that the next week is actually loaded with the news we're having the ismp mice for the usd we're having the fomc statements we're having um, actually a lot of news coming to the usd pairs therefore we have to be very careful most likely it's gonna be a super high volatility market for the next week and for that reason of course we have to be careful i want to remind everyone to close your trades upon the news and just open them again only if the market hasn't changed the direction after the news so until then i hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching